Okay, people have been emailing me wanting me to share with them what kind of pump system that I've been using. And so I'll, um, I'll try to show you that now. Right, I'm right here, I'm at the fish tanks. Let me pan this around so you can see. <clears throat> so I have fish in this tank. I have fish in this tank. I don't think we can see them. They're down there too far. The water's pretty clear, but it's just by the time it gets down to the bottom, until the sunlight is directly overhead, you really can't see the fish in the tank. This tank right here, I this is just my water I use within the greenhouse. And this is a, a solar powered pump. It's actually running on, on the solar panel outside. I'll show you that in a minute. I just circulate this water and add extra oxygen or whatever to it. And then it's always ready for me to use whether I need to add it to this fish tank or to that well these two fish tanks are plumbed together so they go into the same system so if i add water into this tank it will automatically adjust to that tank both tanks are on a siphon you can see the see the pipe down in there so the water level will never go lower than that pipe right there okay you see that i don't know if you can see the the debris on the bottom it pulls the debris up off of the bottom of the tank and that way it gets filtered out through the uh, system so as we follow down here they're plumbed out so they come out of the totes and they come into this two inch line this one right here and they come right along here and they're going into the system and then this goes down to the down into the uh, toad at the bottom uh, that gathers all the water. Now let me sh talk about this little pump right here. This is an additional pump for my second story set of towers. I got two sets of towers and I'm going to show you that. And right now I don't have anything planted in the second floor yet, but I will in a few weeks because I just planted a bunch of spinach and different things that I'm going to grow in that second set. But what this pump does it's plumbed into this tank right here and goes down. I have it going oh about a foot down into that tank. I, I don't have it sitting on the bottom because if anything goes wrong, I don't want this pump sucking all the water out of that tank and uh, giving my fish uh, a dry tank. But this second pump here, which is not currently running, goes up this line here goes up here and as we turn around here uh, whoops buddy just pulled my hat off buddy what are you doing huh okay he's decided he's not gonna be in the video anymore all right buddy you gonna watch from there okay so and that going from that tank this hose here it comes up now you see this frame and this may be hard to see against that sun uh, this holds my second set of towers and you can see this one tower right here I don't have anything planted in it but this will hold I think 18 or 20 towers up here and it's on this um, you see that hoist up there right there okay this whole frame gets lowered and raised and these towers you see where they're positioned in between these two towers they come right down between and when this is in place these little hoses right here they actually fit right into there okay so these towers drain into the lower towers and so that second pump over there uh, pushes the water up into there so that's the only reason I have a second pump otherwise this system is a one pump system buddy you want to go with us come on okay here we go no you crazy bird come on let's go sometimes he gets really ornery i guess he's going to stay in the greenhouse we'll come back for you in a minute bud so let's go out here this was a temporary fix when I plumbed this greenhouse, I was in a hurry to get growing, so I just ran my lines on the ground out here. And I didn't want to dig a hole for this sump tank. 
So I just came down the hill a little bit and I set the tank right here. The only problem is now that it's getting cooler and of course we get sometimes down to zero, all this is gonna freeze unless I wrap it up good, bury it or whatever. And as you can see over here, I brought the tractor in and I started cutting this dirt out. I started digging a hole for the sump right up there so I'd be closer to the greenhouse and I was gonna basically build a little um, roof over it. <clears throat> but we've had so much rain, it's just so muddy, the tractor just couldn't get any traction to dig out. So I'm gonna have to wait till this dries out a little bit and then get in there and finish digging this out and move this up tank over. And hopefully before then, we don't get into too, too much of cold weather. So. Right now, I've got just a single sump pump, and there it is, right in this tank here. And I do have a few fish down in this tank, they just work their way into the system. I don't know if you can see them down there, I can see them, but I don't know if the camera can see them. Uh, this water here, all oftentimes I'll fill those, the system up and it'll be right up, you can see where that moss, that algae is on the side of the tank. Right now it's a little bit low. I haven't filled it for a while, <clears throat> so I need to add some water to it. So I just have a one pump system. So this pump pumps it into this hose, which runs all the way up through around my junk here, and comes back up into the greenhouse. And then goes back up into these tanks. So that hose right along uh, where this uh, PVC pipe is here. All these contraptions here. So that's the pump. Uh, that's the water coming back into the tank. And then I tee off, and, and this line right here, this black one, this is the one feeding, feeding the tower. So right here, the, the pump comes from the tank, it splits, part of the water goes to the towers, and part of the water goes to the tanks. And everything just circulates, and that's the way I got the system set up. So I hope that's helped you out. And what we'll do is I'll go up here and I'll show you exactly the, the pump that I'm using. Buddy, you wanna come with us? Let's go. Okay, we're inside my shop area. <clears throat> I'm rebuilding a couple generators right now. <clears throat> Actually, the generators are good, but these have the uh, Kubota, a little three-cylinder Kubota motor on them. And the motors, uh, each of them threw a rod. I picked them up for next to nothing. They have these uh, sound suppression cases on them. I think they're gonna work out really good. This is for another project, a really big project that I'm working on, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. But going back to the pump, this is the pump that I'm using in the sump tank. It's from Harbor Freight. And I got the half, half horsepower, which was the largest one they had with this particular kind of float. I've used the other ones where the floats float up like this, and those don't work so good. They get stuck, they shut off early sometimes. So if you get a sump pump, get one with a float that goes like this. It'll work a whole lot better for you. And then I put it up on a block so that I'm not picking up all the debris on the bottom of the tank. But anyways, that's the, uh, that's the pump I'm using in there and it pumps all the way up that hill. It pumps up into the towers, everything is good. In fact, I didn't show you in the greenhouse, the seven foot towers, if you look at the video building the seven foot tower, that's the same pump pumps into those seven foot towers. It's all on the same system. And so it has plenty of pressure uh, head high is what you call it and this one here says it has 28 feet of maximum head height and i don't think i'm probably going maybe by the time i uh, get up to the greenhouse add the seven feet i'm 10 or 11 feet head height so i'm really i'm good on on that but. okay so i hope this has helped you guys out and uh buddy decided to join me here in the um in the shop and if you notice buddy and i we kind of match i got a little some little blue stuff here buddy thinks that's pretty cool all right that's it for now so i uh, hope this has helped you out bye for now say bye do you want to tell him bye buddy 
Huh? He ain't saying nothing. <laughs>